Hey, what's up everybody? I'm CC441. I got that bread for your head. And as usual, baby, I'm bringing you the funky truth up in here. Hey, look guys, I only have two subscribers. And after this video, I may be down to only one. Mama, I hope you stick around. But I gotta tell you guys the funky story of how my mama became a Jehovah's Witness. Check it out. Have you ever asked somebody for something and they say these words? I'll pray for you. Don't you kind of feel like that's a nice way of them saying, get the hell out of my face, and I mean it? I don't know if it's just me, but uh, have you ever felt like that? So check this out, true story. About 20 years ago, I went back to Memphis to visit the family, and I found out the hard way that my mom had been converted to a Jehovah's Witness. So this is how it went down. So I was peeking out the window, right? And I see two or three Jehovah Witnesses coming up to the door. So I turn around and tell my mom, I say, hey, look, mom, I'm going to need you to be quiet because we got an army of Jehovah Witnesses at the door right now. Now, y'all wouldn't believe that woman did to me. She almost attacked me. Get out the way. These my friends. Let them in. So it scared me so bad, I screamed, whoa, God, mama. What's going on around here? You know, I noticed that my dad had tucked, ducked, and rolled back into the bedroom. So she tells me, let him in and you sit down at the table with us. Next thing I know, I'm sitting at the table doing Jehovah's Witness stuff. You know, I was pretending like I was reading a little pamphlet. Really, I was just looking at the pictures. I was like, wow, looks like that dude got swallowed by that fish. And be able to tell about it. I wonder how many days he was in that fish's mouth. Anybody know? Let me tell y'all something. Now, you know you're sitting down with a group of religious people. You know they're going to have to try to sum you up. They don't want to say it, but they sit back judging you. So the little old dude acted, you know, the little old dude had on a, a civil rights suit. Now, the thing about that civil rights suit, too, is, you know, there's some things you can't do when you wear a civil rights suit. Like when they let them dogs go, you ain't supposed to run. I always wonder, why you guys back in the day had to get dressed up to get bit by dogs? But anyway, the little dude asked me, he goes, uh, hey, Cece, uh, do you know any Bible verses that you would like to share with us? So, I, I, you know, I didn't, I didn't know a whole bunch, but I wanted to tell him what I did, though. So I'm like, and I said, um, well, yes, I do. And that verse is, Jesus wept. Now, I like to say that right before I eat, because, you know, I'm kind of working on myself. And then my mama goes, oh, baby, that's good. Mama's proud of you. Well, I go, uh, well, thank you so much, Mama. <clears throat> you're, uh, you're so kind. And then this little dude proceeded to ask me, well, Cece, what do you think about uh, Jesus since you mentioned him in your verse? I said, well, Jesus, he seems like a really nice and caring guy, but he's really bad with his money. I said, oh, yes, sir. He evokes the call and reach effect. Every time you call his name, you have to reach for your wallet. I'm just wondering, who keeping the books down at the Kingdom Hall? MC Hammer? You know, the thing about Jehovah's Witnesses, they have the same tenacity as a stray cat. The thing about that stray cat, if you feed that stray cat at 9 a.m., he'll be back the next day at 8 a.m. You, know, you can count on that old stray cat showing up, can't you? Let me tell you, if you ever make the mistake of inviting a Jehovah's Witness into your house, you have to move to get rid of them. And the police have to enroll you into the anti-Jehovah's Witness protection program. You know, when my mom first joined the Jehovah's Witnesses, they teamed her with a lady by the name of Sister Josephine. Sister Josephine turned out to be a backslider. I'm talking about old Sister Josephine or something else. You turn on some blues and get her a can of Budweiser, she'll lose her religion faster than you can spend a stimulus check in South Memphis. Put it like this. If she walked past the Kingdom Hall right now, the alarm would go off. You know, y'all know me. You know, you, you kind of got to watch what you say about people because uh, I don't want to put nobody down. Now, my mom, being a Jehovah Witness now, now she don't celebrate Christmas until you don't get her a gift. Christian people, they do a whole bunch of things that many of us will say 
Anyway. And another thing about my mama. She can be the sweetest little lady in the world when she want to be. Other than that, you really can't tell her nothing. She can't keep a secret for nothing. Telephone, telegraph, and tell mama. A few months ago, my mom asked me, she goes, Hey, CC, are you sincere when you pray? And I thought about it. And I honestly said, well, mom, not all the time. And she goes, well, is there a time that you're always sincere when you pray? I thought about it. And I said, yeah, when I'm in Vegas. I said, because when you're in Vegas, there's a big difference between praying in Vegas and praying in church. You see, when you pray in Vegas, you really mean it. Well, if you feel my vibe, please subscribe.